despite the hot mess that was the emotion unveiling live stream event for the V13, trust me, you didn't miss nothing. I am going to tell you why I am still 100% bullish on this wheel and why I think this is going to be the most important electric unicycle launch in years. This week, we're going to talk about the Emotion V13. Are you ready for the hype train? <laughs> Road the intro. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and help spread the uni gospel. This had been a long road for emotion. The path to the V13 really started back in 2018 when they first started the development of the V11. A wheel that was radically different from any prior models they had released up to that point. Not only because it introduced a suspension system for the first time to an electric unicycle, but because it represented a fundamental cultural shift within emotion. Emotion for the most part built slower, safer, and more cleanly designed wheel that for the most part adhere to the winning formula that Solo Wheel first piloted more than 10 years ago. Roughly disc shaped in a variety of size, mostly black with headlights and folding trolley handle, and speed limited to no more than 25 miles per hour. The V10F was a competent if somewhat boring wheel when introduced and slow even by the standard of 2019. And although we may never know what actually instigated change at Emotion, the V11 did represent a fundamental shift from safe and boring to experimental and dare I say excitement. The 34 miles per hour top speed, although still not a match for 100 volt big old wheels, was the fastest amongst the generation of 84 volt wheels and despite the earlier bearing issue, the use of the hollow core motor turns out to be the right direction, a design later adopted by both their rival Bigot and Kinsan. Next came the V12 release a year later, Emotion's first foray into the high output and high High performance 100 volt electric unicycle and although they were still unable to match the performances of the flagship veteran and Vigo wheels after all their insistence on greater headroom and safety margin meant that this couldn't have been a fair race in the first place and yet once again there were stumbles such as the terrible cutout issues and anger over their slow responses but you had to recognize the fact that emotion had indeed became a very different kind of company in a very little bit of time. More interestingly, taking a step back, one began to see the larger product roadmap and how they had leveraged the development of the V11 and the V12 are more accurately the technology that was developed as part of those two wheels were a prelude to the introduction of the V13. And that context is absolutely critical since without it, I wouldn't have been as confident as I am with their ability to create such an absolutely ambitious wheel. Now on the face of it, the peak performance specification for the V13 seemed almost underwhelming. Yes, 55 miles per hour is insanely fast, but we already have a wheel with similar top speed with the Bego Master. The battery is 25% larger, but so what? Why are all the die-hard riders, including me, losing their mind and the big old boss, according to rumor, piss off about this wheel? Because we all know that given the incredible specification of the components that Emotion had happily demonstrated, the V13 will very likely be capable of so much more. The big old master was only able to achieve its incredible speeds through a combination of unconventional battery configurations and and even higher voltage since it still utilized a 3500 watt prior gen electric motor wherein the V13 has a motor custom designed to its high voltage and output setup and carries a power rating that is 30% greater than that of the 
master. And on top of that, the wattage rating is actually somewhat arbitrary since electrical motor design usually only provide a range of optimal operating wattage and partly depends on the robustness of the electrical power supply system to determine actual power output. Unlike traditional gasoline power engine, battery capacity, voltage, and output all have an impact on an electrical motor system. Reason why peak output is a thing and it's here where the V13 began to separate itself from the rest of the pack. Emotion really seemed to have learned a hard lesson through the cutout problem the V12 suffered and did everything they can to crank the safety margin on the controller to 11. Even in direct comparison to the Go Master, the specs stand out. 42 MOSFETs as compared to 24, 16 capacitor as compared to 3. Emotion even built in a set of backup hall sensor into the motor to make sure that cutout won't happen in case of faults and continue to improve battery safety by improving the BMS further and adding a seal and fill battery compartment to further protect the batteries. As exciting as the performance specification reveal so far have been, frankly it's even more exciting to me knowing that this is a wheel that would potentially provide twice or even three times of the safeguard as compared to a traditional electric unicycle and that this will hopefully force the other EUC manufacturer to similarly up their game when it comes to the engineering of safer, more reliable controller. Does this mean that somehow the Emotion V13 be without fault and problem free? That we don't really know since unfortunately electrical systems, especially higher voltage ones, have the tendency to quickly seek out the weakest link in any system and until we we actually have the opportunity to ride and push this wheel to its very limit, something that I'm not quite ready to believe that Emotion had done so far. My bet is still, unfortunately, that one of us EUC YouTube reviewer is going to get dropped on his or her tender little head. Despite our early access, surprisingly, I'm not quite sure if people are really jealous since we're literally crash test dummies, emphasizing the dummy part. But this is the price we all pay for being the earliest of early adopter and emotion seem to have come to fully embrace that fact with an unusual pricing proposition. The early bird pre-orders would be priced at $4,000 while the regular pricing would come in at $4,600. So a $600 discount for being willing to jump in and deal with the potential batch 1 issues. But this is actually not new, not by design, but the Batch 1 Sherman was priced at $2,800. But with its popularity, it quickly went up to $3,200, then $35, and finally a year later, the Sherman Max came in at $3,800. And yes, a $4,600 electric unicycle probably would have been unimaginable just a year ago, but so was a 60 miles per hour wheel. But it's not all sunshine and roses. And and I do have some concern, namely that other V13 headline feature, the suspension. And although I am glad to see the innovative feature first developed for the V11 making its way into this high performance wheel, but I am both surprised and concerned at how little the second iteration of the Emotion suspension design had changed as compared to the original. We still have the same skinny air pistons, except that it's double up on both sides of the wheel and I'm particularly alarmed by the fact that Emotion had made the suspension system modular and removable. As I have said on multiple occasions in the past, that given the kind of speed we're now pushing with electric unicycle, the integration of an effective suspension system isn't a luxury but a necessity. I have personally taken a hit from a big bump and crashed my 500cc motorcycle at 55 miles per hour and seeing firsthand how the tremendous amount of force have been the fork on the bike like pool noodle and I don't care what kind of crazy athlete you may think you are no flesh and bone could have withstood that kind of force for emotion
solution to make the suspension system optional strike me as potential lack of understanding of what real world ride condition is actually like at that kind of speed i hate to keep repeating myself like a broken record but an effective suspension system is an essential part of the wheel safety system in addition the lever art suspension design first adopted by the king song s18 also offer many advantages over the vertical piston configuration of the v13 such as redirectional force progressive travel and dampening so good that even the go grudgingly start imitating it with their latest wheel and there were even leaks with patent fouling showing that emotion had indeed experimented with this type of suspension design so i'm a little bit puzzled as to why they didn't in the end choose to go with this try and true direction i do hope that my worry turns out to be unfounded and that emotion proves me wrong with their decision to go with the double piston design since it's very likely that the V13 will turn out to be one of their most consequential launch in years. Everything they have done through the past few years all culminated with the release of this wheel and given its tremendous power and speed if successful the v13 may very well be the first of a whole new category of ultra performance electric unicycle and emotion is finally on the verge of realizing their ambition of not only leading the euc sales chart but also win the performance crown from the go and veteran and by all indication they are moving aggressively towards their goal i already heard whispering of the imminent shipping of the batch zero demo wheel to youtube influencers for review and we will hopefully be able to see first hand on whether or not the v13 could actually live up to its tremendous expectations and they better since the goal is not far behind the reigning speaking was not a about to take the V13 announcement laying down as they had also just announced their rival wheel 22 inch ultra electric unicycle the master pro the war for the 22 inch 60 miles per hour electric unicycle is officially on Is the Emotion V13 the next gen electric unicycle you have been waiting for or is the tremendous cost and we turn you off of this wheel? Well, that is what the comment section below is for. And you know what? Aha! I somehow managed to trick you into wasting another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love electric unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheel is to grow as a community. So tell your friend, teach them how to ride and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you.